Wow. Hello, everyone. This is Jim from Geeks on Tour. Welcome to our very first webinar with friends. We have Chris here, and we have Laura Baker from Laura Sends Cards. And Laura was here a minute ago, and she's not here now. I'm looking at the chat screen, and if I just want to make sure that Somebody can just tell me if they can hear me. Please just type a little chat there to make sure that, that we're on and you can hear me. Cold Iowa, Nancy Cullinan. Woo. This is why we live in Florida. Wow. Hello, everyone. This is Jeff from Geeks on Tour. Welcome to our very first webinar with friends. We have Chris here, and we have Laura Baker from Laura Simpson. Hi there. Hi there. Glad you came back. Wait, let me get my little okay. tag on here. Okay. All right, so... Uh, Okay, we are live now. We're on the air, I think. People are saying hello, but there we go. They can hear. They hear us in California, loud and clear. Okay. Well, we still have a couple of minutes here. All right. So Laura's just logging in now. Okay. Robin here, here you find. Bluffton, South Carolina. Hi, Robin. How are we doing up there? Getting any cold weather yet? This is going to be so much fun. If everything works well. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm going by my clock on the clubhouse wall here. Laura's here. Hi, Robin. How are we doing up there? <laughs> Laura looks looks serious. I'm I, I'm uh, having a little issue here. That's all right. Yeah, okay. Well, we are live, so things should be happening. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, there you are. Okay. All right, so it's time to start. We might as well get started here. 78 today, okay. San Dimas, California. Well, let's get started. I have 2 o'clock on the button. It's Eastern Standard Time, and I'd like to welcome everyone who's out there right now. This is Geeks on Tour webinar with Send Out Cards and Picasso. The way we're going to do this today is we're going to start with Chris. She's going to show a little bit about Picasa, the program that we use for pictures. We think it's the best program out there for managing your pictures on your, on your computer. And it works with Macs and PCs. And we're going to have an emphasis today on holiday cards. And then Laura is going to come in, and she's going to give us some information about Send Out Cards and how you can very easily and quickly put all that stuff together. It looks like a lot of fun, so let's get right into it. First, say hi to Chris. I see Laura there twice. That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> so whichever right, one works. Well, Go I ahead, think, Chris. Hi, everybody. But I wanted you to tell them a little bit about what equipment we're using. What what is this that we're using to make this happen, and where are we? And okay, we're in Claremont, 
Florida. That's right outside of Orlando and Disney. And we're using the Google Plus Hangouts on air, which is going to record it automatically to YouTube. And then we're going to be doing some uh, things. Let's see. We have cameras, and we have microphones, and we have our internet connections. I'm using my cell phone for an internet connection. It is using Verizon's data plan. So we have a 4G here. I think Chris is on her own 4G. Laura's in another place altogether, and she has a nice high-speed internet connection. So if our system goes out a little bit, just hang in there. It should come right back. Hopefully, if it really does bum out, then we'll have to figure out other things. So, And if you have any issues, I'm watching this chat going by. And if you have any questions, put them there, and I'll do my best to answer them. I might miss you. If I do, put it in again, and, and I'll try and do it. But welcome, everybody. And now let's go to Chris. OK. So um, I should have popped up to the middle screen now, right? <laughs> and welcome, everybody. This is just so cool. I put out the registration information and limited it to 100 just because we don't know how this is going to work. And we hit 100 pretty quickly, so I upped it to 125, and I think we did max out. Theoretically, these Hangouts on Air are supposed to handle thousands, but we also put it on our website, geeksontour.com slash hangouts is one place you can use it. And our website can't handle thousands. So the other place that you can watch it is shown on that geeksontour.com slash hangout screen, and it's at the Google Plus slash plus Geeks on Tour TV. Anyway, so we hope that you will all be able to watch this, and we'll, and you'll let us know afterwards. I want to show you, Picasso is a real specialty of ours, and this is the holiday season. We happen to be in this park where Laura is also, and we got to talking, and she does send out cards, and I said, ooh, ooh, let's do a webinar. I'll show them how to pick a photo from Picasso, and then you can show them how to put it in, send out cards. So I'm going to switch over to my screen now and start showing you Picasso. Oops, I already clicked something wrong. <laughs> All right, I'll get there. Screen share. And pick the screen I want to share. OK. And I'm not getting it. <laughs> screen share. And it's just taking a second. It's not. OK. Well, while she's trying to do that, I'll just dance for a minute. Down at the bottom on your screen, you should be able to choose who you want to see. If you click on that one presenter, you can keep that person on. There will be a blue frame around that person. And to uh, go back to the automatic switching, you can click that again. Chris is still trying to share her screen. I am. It's. Uh, I. I think it is an internet connection issue. It's not being fast enough to show me the screens that I am allowed to share. Okay. Well, we'll try and figure something out here. Again, this is an experiment. <laughs> well, yeah. see if see if you can share your screen and go to our forum. Okay. And show the map piece. Well, I'm going to answer a couple of questions here as long as I'm on here. Do we need to have Picasso already on our computer? No, you do not. This is just, we're just going to show you what we're going to be doing here. Uh, the only thing I am getting is this video has been removed. I don't know Re why. Refresh the screen. Refresh your screen. That she she must have gotten on early while you still had the old one. Having trouble getting the video to work. Refreshed several times. 
and then click the arrow. And click the arrow again. Well, I'm going to try hanging up and coming back on. Okay. While we're doing that, why don't you introduce yourself, Laura, and tell them about what you do, and we'll see if we can get that thing straightened out, okay? Here's to Laura. Okay. Can you hear me now, Jim? I can hear you now, and I can see you. Awesome. So I'm the one in the red hat, in case you don't have my image clicked in the bottom uh, in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, I'm Laura Baker and I'm also in Claremont on the other side of the campground from Chris and Jim and um, today when uh, after Chris shows you how to get your pictures out I'm gonna show you how you can easily 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 drop them into a Christmas card and uh, send your cards on your way you can do 10 cards or 300 cards and be done in an hour and on to something else Wow, that sounds really cool. Yep. I'm looking forward to it. Chris seems to be back now. Let's see if she can make, make hers work for us. Okay. Start screen share. So now... Ah, your screen is sharing. Okay. Yeah. But you're sharing us. There we okay, go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now I'm sharing... My screen. Okay, and I also happen to be on a Macintosh computer, which is another new thing for us. We are proud owners of a Macintosh now, thanks to the generosity of our friend Lynn. Now, what I want to show you is an outline. You know, I always believe in sh tell you what we're going to show you, then show you, then tell you what we showed you. If you are a member of Geeks on Tour, you already know about our forums. So this is our website. And on our forums, we have a topic header called Picasa. And under Picasa, I started a thread for this webinar on holiday cards using Picasa and send out cards. The first post tells about how to get on to this webinar. The second post, and everybody can see this post. Only the whole screen. Oh, OK. Um, so I should. I should make that full screen so you're not seeing all the other stuff behind there. There. Thank you. Okay. So everybody should be can go to this post and get a recap of my uh, Picasso part of this seminar. And I'm going to use it as an outline to remember what I plan to show you. So the first thing, and this is, I just really wanted to show this because it's really fun, to find the perfect picture. I'm going to show you a little known feature using Picasso's face recognition and people albums because when you do a Christmas card, very likely, you want a picture of both you and your spouse. So I'm going to show you how to do that with Picasso. Now, the first thing is that you need to have you need to already have a bunch of pictures, obviously, in Picasso, and you need to have gone through the process of recognizing faces. So if you've done that, it means you have this section called People. So here is all of my People albums. I have like 50,000 pictures in here. And here is the album of just my face. OK. Now, I have 758 pictures that has my face in it. And up in the, if you want to see the whole picture, this is just a little tip, you can click on this in the very upper right-hand corner. If you click on that square, it means show me the whole picture where my face appears. Or if you click on the little head, it means just show me the face. But now I've also identified all sorts of other people. And Picasso is smart enough to know all the different faces that are in one picture. If you go down to the lower right and click on this little silhouette of a head, that opens up a panel that shows you all the other people that are in the pictures and I had to click a couple of in the pictures with me. 
So of all these pictures that have my face, here are the other people that are also in those 758 pictures. So if I want to see just the pictures that has me and Jim, I click on Jim over here on this people panel, and now in my library I am only seeing pictures of the two of us. Now, what do you think? Isn't that cool? Awesome. <laughs> I just think that's so cool. <laughs> and in in the forum post that I showed you, it does go over. If I went really fast, don't worry, you can go read the forum post and and see the steps that I took to get to here. Okay. So second thing. Now Jim, I'm looking at the public view of this and we're seeing your face. So, I don't know why. I have view. Are other people seeing uh, Picasso on their screen or Jim's face? Can I'm, you, somebody? I'm seeing Picasso. I'm seeing Picasso. Okay. I'm seeing Picasso. You should have your screen blue frame, Chris. Blue frame your user. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the... Um, <laughs> there, back to this forum. So that was the first thing. Find the perfect picture and the little technique I showed you is how to find a picture that has two people in it. And here are the steps I took and here's more info. Anybody can read this article at PicassoGeeks.com. Only members can watch these videos. Next, you want to crop it to a proper size and then export for use in something like send out cards. So I'm going to go back to Picasso and show you that. So let's see what picture. Now these are all the pictures of Jim and me. I know there's one that was quite a while ago that we actually had Christmassy clothes on. We haven't taken any this year that has Christmassy clothes on, so I'm going to go back to an older one here. There it is. I passed it again, didn't I? Okay. That's too far back. <laughs> That's back to 2001. Like I said, I have 50,000 pictures, so I see one. There's a fun one. That one? Yeah. Okay. Well, that one, yeah, okay. Now, when we get to the card part of this, um, yeah, aren't, aren't, aren't we cute? Now, um, you might find a card where you need a horizontal picture and you might find a card where you want a vertical picture. So I'm going to crop this one in both ways. I'm going to go up to, well it's already been cropped, so I'm going to go up to recrop and let's say I want, I'll, t I'll do one vertically and I'm going to choose the 5 by 7 ratio. That's just really a standard ratio of uh, um, for dimensions. It's also one that works very well with send out cards. Yeah, okay, good, good. Glad, glad to know that. All right. But now I want this vertical, so I'm going to click on the rotate button over here. Okay. Now this is with our old rig, <laughs> and this is with our doggy who's no longer with us, but it's, a, it's still a fun Christmassy picture. And I click apply. Now, you should also pay attention to the size of the picture. Picasso always shows you the size down here at the bottom. This, is a, this will be a 2.5 megabyte picture, 1137. So what do you think, Laura? Is that maybe, is that? That's uh, fine. That's that, fine. That's good for send out yep. cards? It'll okay. handle it just fine. So what I'm going to do now is say, this is the picture I want to use for send out cards. I'll click Export. And I'm going to make a folder just for send out cards. So this is going to be stored in my documents, send out cards folder. 
and I could resize it if if the size that it is I don't think will work I can make it smaller you can't make it bigger you can only make it smaller but since Laura says this is a good size I will just leave it at use original size and then I'll export all right but now just in case the card I find and it's showing me where that's going in my in my files and folders just in case the card I find needs a horizontal picture I'm gonna undo this crop and do it again in a different way so this time I will recrop it and make it once again, I want to choose 5 by 7, since Laura says that's a good ratio for cards. And there. That's the picture that I'll use if the card I like is a horizontal one. And I'm going to export that also to the Send Out Cards folder. And use original size and export. So now if I were to use send out cards, I would know that I could upload the pictures from the specific send out cards photo and they've already been adjusted perfectly. But uh, before I turn it over to Laura, I just want to say that you that Picasa does have the ability to make cards and gifts as well using online vendors such as Walmart, Walgreens, Snapfish. And you'll find that so with the picture or pictures you want you could have more um, let's say I want maybe that one as, as well I might want to put on cards so now I have two pictures in my selection tray if I go to file and order prints that brings up all sorts of different vendors that you can choose to and it will automatically upload your edited version of your picture to whichever vendor you choose. I'm just going to choose Walgreens. You have to have an account. This is all free, but they need to store your pictures in your account at Walgreens. So you come up with a username and password and I'm going to tell Walgreens to make a folder in my account called Christmas Test and log in. Uh-oh. <laughs> What do you mean? Oh, I think. Uh, let's see if that's right. Aren't passwords the death of us? There we go. I got it. So now if you notice in the lower right-hand corner, it's indicating that it is uploading those two files to my account at Walgreens. And how much does this cost? Well, so far it's free. It doesn't cost anything until you order something made from those prints and the prices will be here. So there's all sorts of things you can make. Um, you can make photo books, cards, calendars, pol posters. What I like though is, the, is even the gifts. We Coffee mugs. I made a coffee mug of some travel photos and gave it to everybody as gifts a few Christmases ago. But I'm just going to show you where what they have for cards. I'll choose season greetings. And uh, let's say that card. This one looks like it will accept a whole bunch of pictures. You click create now. Notice it's $15 for a set of 20 with envelopes and now those will just get mailed to you. So you can either pick them up at your local Walgreens or you can have them mailed to you. If I say mailed, then that's $25 a set, it said. And I can drag a bunch of photos to this one. So get photos and it means from my library of photos so those are the two I just uploaded and I will get them 
and it says drag and drop into your collected photos on the right. So drag over there. So at this point, you're on, I am on Walgreens website. You know, Picasso just delivered the photos to Walgreens website, and now you have to use Walgreens website to do the rest. And oh, I didn't upload the vertical one <laughs> after all that that effort. Okay, but you get the idea. So I could order this and pay them $25 and in a few days in my mailbox will be 20 cards and envelopes. And I think that that's all I have time for and I'm going to turn it over to Laura. Okay, well hello uh, again. Um, I'm one of Santa's little elves and I'm going to show you today some of the differences between what we do at uh, Send Out Cards and what's available on some of these other types of services. So the first thing that I want to do, um, by the way, you can see um, below my name there is a website. Um, please make a note of that because after we get finished today, I'd like for you to go to my website and you can actually send, um, with my compliments, two cards. Um, and they will be um, printed, stuff stamped, and mailed first class and show up in your family or friend's mailbox um, with my compliments so that you can have a chance to try out, this, try out the system and see how it works for you. So that's www.laurasendscards.com. And you don't have to do that now. You can go back and open your gift account and um, have a little card party there in your home when we get done today. So uh, I am now going to uh, I am going to show you what it looks like when you um, it, when you will later go to laurasendscards.com so what you're gonna see is a screen that looks like this can everybody uh, uh, Chris can you see uh, my yeah, that's up. Box that there? Good. okay perfect uh, I, so, I do but but hold on just a second here how everybody else I'm seeing an error on on my uh, live screen, is anybody else seeing that? Somebody did. I saw. Yeah. So if if you're on the geeksontour.com window for looking at this, you might want to try going over to the Google Plus one. Let me see if that's getting an error. Oops. Okay. Everybody else, I'm seeing an error on okay. one of the hangouts is up. Okay. Is anybody else? I think we're hopefully we're back in business. Yeah, we're back in business is from what I can tell. Can you see my okay. two gold boxes? Yes. Okay, so at this point, I, I know it says something different up at the uh, up in the up in the um, navigation bar, but when you type in laurasendscards.com, it's going to take you to this route, and it's going to, and this is what you're going to see. And um, if you click watch a video, it's going to tell you about send out cards and how we do our card business. And then if you click on send a card, it's going to put you into a gift account where you can go ahead and send um, a card. Um, two cards actually um, to see how it works. Now um, it will give you, it will also give you an option, and I'm just going to show it to you very quickly. Um, it's going to give you an option to, um, oh, is it not going to let me click that? Oh dear. So uh, oh. anyway, it'll, it, it'll give you an option to have a walkthrough of um, the system and I suggest that you do take that audio with the walkthrough because it'll walk you right through building a card. Um, now I am going to uh, I am going to see if I can pick up um, another window and actually show you let's see
Hmm. Ah, here we go. Can you see that now? Yep. Yes. Hello, okay, great. So um, it'll say, would you, would you like... Okay, so you will see, uh, would you like an automated walkthrough? And when you do it yourself, you're going to click yes. But for our purposes here, we're going to click no. Okay? And, um, you know, because I can't talk and have them talking at the same time. So um, <laughs> the first thing you'll see is this card catalog along the left. Now, what I want you to notice is we have literally tens of thousands of cards in this catalog where you can pick a card and you can, you know, start making that card. The um, on the left, there's a catalog so that you can, you know, make it kind of simple. And this is, I'm going to show you first how you would do a card that's kind of a generic card. So some people like to create their own cards from the beginning, and some people want some of the work done for them. So I'm going to show you the easiest way first. The easiest way first is to pick a nice Christmas card out of our catalog. So what I did was I clicked on Christmas over here on the left, and then um, it's showing me all of the Christmas cards. My personal favorite is this one right here because I live in Florida. I like to send warm holiday <laughs> greetings to people. So um, you can see on the left, it's going to show you that you could make this card into a postcard, a two-panel card, which is five by seven, um, a three-panel card for those of you who have lots of Christmas news to share and you want more space, um, or you can do an 8.2 by 11.5 inch card, which is actually frameable. So sometimes I send those to family with family pictures on them and they can actually put them in a picture frame. So um, I like this card, so I'm going to add it to my favorites here. So it'll be very easy to come back and find later. So this is the cover. And then if you look, on, I'm going to click inside on this tile right above the card, and it's going to show me what's already in the inside of the card. And it says, wishing you a wonderful holiday season. It's also written below that card. And I kind of like that. So I'm going to click on a two-panel card, and it's going to create for me a two-panel card out of this card. So here we have the two-panel card. Um, if I click up at the top line, where the picture of the palm tree is, it'll show me the front of the card in a large view. And then if I um, go to the inside, it's going to show me the inside of the card. So at this point, I'm going to personalize it a little bit. Now, I could have started from the beginning and put my picture on, on the front of a card, but for the, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to show you how you can load a picture right into the middle. So I'm going to click on this little um, gray... Uh, icon that says templates and that's going to let me put a little template inside the card that um, that can that can frame my picture a little bit. You don't have to do this but I'm going to do it just because it's kind of fun to do. So I'm going to find my happy holidays here and it's going to bring up all of the templates that are holiday related. Okay so um, let's see happy holidays here uh, let's see, it's, there was actually a, one called Season's Greet, there you go, Merry Christmas, that's the one I'm looking for. Okay, so these are all templates that I can drag and drop and put a little picture in. So I'm going to, um, if you're looking at the left, I'm sort of paging through these so that you can see some of them. So I'm going to take, oh, let's take this one here doesn't really matter which one, but there you go. There's a nice nice picture for the left of your card. Now, I want to put a picture in there. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. This is so unbelievably easy. If you look to the left, in the upper left-hand corner, where it says pictures, I'm going to click on pictures. And if you notice, there's already a picture that I uploaded here. Now, it's very easy to upload a picture, but I just wanted to make sure that I had one um, here in case we had a little technical snafu. But I'm going to show you how I would upload one. So a see what? what? No way. <laughs> if you say, upload more pictures right here. Can you see my arrow pointing to that? Yes. OK, good. So I'm going to click on Upload More Pictures. I would choose Browse Photos. Now I can go to anywhere from here. I can go to anywhere on my computer. I can click on, uh, click on a picture. This happens to be a picture. So I'm going to open this picture. Now it's now going to show you. 
my little red. This happens to be a graphic, but I could also I could do it with a graphic or a picture or anything. Um, now here I'm I'm not seeing your files and folders or. Are you, are you seeing Jim? the little red mailbox? No, Jim, are you? No, no, I don't. No. Okay. So, yeah. We're still at the drag image here on the. Okay, on that's the fine. It's for some reason it's not. Yeah. Pick, it's picking up this. Um, you'll see it in a minute when it uploads next to the right. picture. That's see the fine. Whole? There okay. we go. So now we see it. that just tells you how quick it was. It was so quick you couldn't even see it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so but anyway, you just click on this upload pictures, and then you can go pick. You know, you can search and pick out pictures on your hard drive. And then upload them all day long. I've been uploading. So, for example, those pictures that I exported to a send out cards folder, you could get them. Right. You would just go and you would search on your send out cards folder or the name of the picture, either one. It would bring it right up. I have been loading pictures up into this, um, to my account for since 2009, and I'm not even halfway to my capacity. So, it's really awesome. So, but anyway, here's, here's the picture that I had taken to use this year for Christmas. So I'm going to use that one, and if you can see, I'm just dragging it and dropping it. It's just drag and drop technology. And there's my picture. Now, this was taken at Hollywood Studios a couple of nights ago at the uh, light display. And let's say I want to move it around. Maybe I want to move the whole thing up or down. Or maybe I want to zoom it in. I've got a little bar below the picture that lets me zoom it in. I can zoom it out. I can put my I can put my hand my cursor over this little hand and I can bring the picture up or down. So you see, I don't actually have to worry much about how I crop it before oh, I bring it in okay. because I have a whole lot of flexibility once I get it in. Now, you can't actually probably tell this, but right above it, there's a little circle that looks like a Christmas ball, but it's got an arrow in it. And I can actually tilt the picture if I want to. Let's say I want to uh -huh. make it a little more creative. So, um, so I can you know, tilt and twirl, whatever. It's just really easy, easy technology. Now. Um, if I were doing, let's say this, um, I want this was a threefold card, and I wanted to span this card across the whole card. See this little button here that says span? I just hit that, and look at that, takes up the whole card. And again, I can uh -huh. make it big, and I could put print over it or whatever. Now I'm not going to do that because um, because I don't want to do that. Um, but so I'm going to I'm going to despan it here. And um, and I'm going to put it back. Uh, I'm going to remove it for the moment, and then I'm going to drag it back over just so I don't have to worry about formatting it. So there's there's the picture the way I want to send it. It's got enough of the Christmas tree in the background, and over here I'm going to type my message. Now because I did the span on the picture, um, it uh, let's see if it's going to let me go back and put that writing back in there. Um, you know what? It's not going to do that. So let me go forward because I. One one of the features of send out cards is that it lets you um, use the um, the the writing that's in the card, or uh, you can use your own um, you can use your own writing in the card. So I think our technology sort of caught up with us a little bit here. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to try something here. I'm just going to back up for a minute and I'm going to reselect that card just because I got a little bit too fancy there for my own good. <laughs> I never do that. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to go back and get my Christmas card. You can see how easy this is to do. And I'm going to create my two panel card again and now the printing will show back up on the inside cuz I really kind of like that printing. And I'm going to go back and put my template back in. My Merry Christmas. And I'll put this one in. And I'll put my picture back in. See how easy this is and how fast it is? It just goes right like that. Now I'm going to come over here. And if you notice, this says click here to type your message. You don't have to. You can put it anywhere you want to, but it gives you this box 
to make it look nice and pretty. And I'm going to put in my favorite handwriting. When you have your own account, you can actually enter your own your own handwriting if you have handwriting you like. But the, since this is a sample account, um, it doesn't have my handwriting in it. But this is as close as I would like my handwriting to be. So I'm going to say, Dear Chris, um, I hope you are somewhere warm like I am. <laughs> and then I'm going um, I'm going to sign it. Again, when you have your own uh, account, you can have you can put your signatures in there and it'll actually um, it'll actually drag and drop your signature right into the card so that people can recognize your signature. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to use a standard this is a handwriting font. Now, um, I want it to look festive. So if you go down underneath and look underneath that box, you can see some typical um, editing kinds of boxes. In this big A, it's going to give me a color palette. And I just think I want to make that green because I like green ink. And I might make it a little bit bigger so I'll, so everybody doesn't have to put on their glasses to read it. There you go. Well, that's a little too big. Let's make that a little smaller. So I'll, I'm going to go about 18 points. That's usually a good a good size for me. Okay. Now, um, so this is I could put anything else I wanted in here, but for now this is I'm going to just keep it simple and show you that now that we've finished our card, we're going to continue on, and it's going to take us to checkout. Now um, I could it's going to it asks me here do I want to add a gift to this order? So I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a four pack of brownies. Look at that. Is that delicious or what? Now, oh, since, yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> since this is a sample account, a demonstration account, there's not enough money in there for you to all send brownies, just so you know. But you can go in and look at the pictures of the brownies. So, <laughs> <laughs> and so, drool. Right. So um, we are not going to add a brownie to this account. So we're going to say zero. And um, we're gonna uh, we're going to um, go to my cart, and now we're gonna proceed to checkout. So the card is in the you can see there it's a two panel card, and um, it's telling me it's three points. I'll explain to you what that means in a minute. And this is only one card, so I'm gonna go to checkout. And um, I was in this account a little bit earlier. Normally. It says new card sender here, and you would put in your information. This is a return address. So this is going to appear on the outside of the envelope. Remember, this card is individually being sent on your behalf. So you're entering your return address here. This is my return address. And then I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to select from a list of, of contacts to, um, I could send this to one person. Of course, I addressed it to Chris. But I could have put a field name in there that went and got the person's first name for, oh, however many people I wanted to send it to. So let's just see if I um, hit select from contacts. Well, look, there are two people in there. One of them is my sister and one of them is me. So I could, theoretically, when I do my Christmas cards, I have about 300 people that I click. And then I hit send. And you know what? They're gone. And each one is individually addressed and has an has a personalized message inside. But for the purposes of this, let's just say I'm going to send one to my sister and I'll send one to myself. So I'm clicking that there. And then um, it's going to select those recipients. It's going to show you the two people you selected. And then I'm going to go to the next step. Hello, next. There you go. <laughs> And it's telling me, so it would show me whether I had two or 200 people. It's going to show me um, that it's going out. Now, I want to sh point to at the, this line that says send all on this date because here's what I do for Christmas. I do my Christmas cards sometimes in, in September. And I put in here a date of the 11th. And you can make it different for each one or you can make it the same for all of them. And I have them go out on December 11th because I found that if I send them on December 11th, they get to everybody before Christmas. <laughs> so, um, and then if I want to change something or personalize an individual card, I've got another few days to do that before they go. 
So, now, can, Laura, can yeah. you actually upload all your friends' names and addresses from some other database or contact manager that you have it in? Absolutely, and I, I'll come back and show you my database, you know, how the database works in a second, but basically what you can do is if you have, I had all of my contacts in Outlook, and um, what I did was I exported 1,500 or more contacts from Outlook into an Excel type format and then just brought that right up into send out cards and it had all my addresses right there. Um, so I'm going to confirm and go to payment and it's just going to take a minute for it to get to that. And now here's what it's telling me. It's telling me that um, the expense uh, for shipping and handling is 92 cents. That's two first class stamps and um, that's the total expense and it's um, six points which each card was three points because I had a photo and I had personalized it with my own images um, each point um, so a three point card um, can be as little as a dollar depending on the type of somewhere between 99 cents and a dollar fifty depending on what kind of an account you have and in this case it's um, it, it is with my compliments if you're doing this it will let you send two cards just like this and I'm gonna hit send cards and this is the most magic button in the greeting card industry I'm gonna hit sending cards and it's gonna send it's gonna all my little elves are gonna print these cards they're gonna put them in beautiful white envelopes and they're going to take them to the post office for me <laughs> now there is uh, that is the difference between send out cards and everything else out there Nobody else has elves that I'm aware of, um, <laughs> and you can, um, you know, you can send each card can be different, or you can have 200 of the same cards but have the person's individual name inside the card, dear so and so, um, and so there's just a whole lot of flexibility with send out cards, and um, given the quality of the card, you can't you can't buy a card and send it for what um, you can do you know with this from send out cards so it's telling you now that um, these cards are scheduled to go out it's telling you the send date and it's giving you the option to cancel or modify the order but we're pretty happy with what we've got so now I'm um, we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at the main I'm gonna take you back to the main menu from the upper left hand corner now remember when you go to do this with your own demo account it's gonna walk you through it if you choose that option for you know to walk you through it um, so from this main menu I want to show you a couple of things one here is the sock photo store this is an area where all of the images that you've uploaded to using your cards can also be used to create calendars mugs um, pictures beautiful prints on canvas um, cell phone covers you name it so that's a whole other section of what you can do with your pictures once you've uploaded them. I also want to show you um, here, create a campaign. When you create campaigns, and I might actually have a campaign in here already, um, here's one. This is a campaign. This lets you, um, and, I, and I'm just going to show you this particular campaign so that um, it's very easy to start one. It's got a tutorial right here that walks you through it. But I put one in here so that I could just show you what it looks like. This is called Holiday 2013. And it's got my return address. It's got a card in here. And um, this particular card, I can um, see it has my same send date. I just did this card a little bit earlier so that you could um, see what it looks like. So for this campaign, it's got a little different message that I did here, a little bit different graphic, but it's the same card that we were looking at earlier with a different image inside. And if you see here, it says, Dear First Name and Spouse's First Name. So it will go to your contact manager, and it'll pick up, for instance, for Chris, it'll say, Dear Chris and Jim. So when it prints the card out, it gets that information, puts it in here. They have the experience that they've gotten a very personalized card. And if I want to adjust the message, I can. But from this campaign, I can actually select a group of contacts. Here's where it's asking me if I want to put a gift in with that, but I'm going to continue without a gift. 
Uh, by the way, for all of you R RVers out there that don't want to be shipping things to your grandkids that they won't like, you can pick this gift card option and you can select from just an amazing number of gift cards that your grandkids can then go buy things that they want. Uh, so I'm going to continue. I'm going to, and this campaign is designed to go out on December 11th, just like it says right here. And then I'm just, I didn't make any changes, but I'm go ahead, going to go ahead and send it anyway. So now, this campaign is, I'm just going to save it there. I'm going to, I can, anytime I want to, I can go to, oops, let me do this a different way. Anytime I want to, I can go to my contacts. Now, remember I said I only have two in here. In my, in my main account, I have thousands. But I can... I can select these two. Now watch this. This is magic. Okay? So I'm going to select these two. I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on Send Campaign to Checked. And, oh, I have to select a card. Duh. Okay. So it's going to um, select a campaign. I'm going to select Holiday 2013. And, it's and I'm going to click Send Campaign. And it's going to tell me I need to buy some more money to, you know, I'm going to need to buy some more points because this is a sample campaign and it doesn't have any more, I've already used some of the points. But at any rate, it would take and it would send that campaign to everybody that I selected and then I'm done. And then the elves take over and they print the cards, stuff them, stamp them, and take them to the post office for me. So I'm just going to take you for a minute back to the main menu and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you down here. What if I sent those cards and I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I misspelled Christmas. What am I gonna do about that? Well, I can go into my into my main menu here. I can look at view card history. And I'm gonna search and I'm gonna look at all scheduled cards. Here are my two cards that I just made. I can either go in and edit them and fix this typo, but if I've got like 200 cards, I don't want to edit 200 cards. I want to, I'm going to delete those, and here it says cancel selected cards. And as soon as you do that, it's going to, what does that say? Are you sure you want, yes, I want to cancel the selected cards. So now it got rid of those two cards and it put the money back in my account. So now, if I want to go back, I can either go in and, edit. and I want to, let's see, um, remember what we did with our contacts. We went in to find the contacts, and I'm going to find all of them, all two of them. They're checked, and I want to resend that campaign. Let's say I went in and, and edited what I needed to edit, and I'm going to send that campaign. It tells me it's six points and ninety-two cents, which I now have because I returned those other cards, and it sent them. So now they're in the queue; they're ready to go on December eleventh. So um, I'm going to take a breather here and see. <laughs> believe it or not, I can take a breather, <laughs> and um, and see if um, if Jim has anything that um, has come in on the question board that I can answer for you um, before I turn it back over. Well, right now I don't see anything on there. Well, one thing I want to make sure you, since I mentioned that you can get things like coffee mugs and calendars and iPad covers with your photo on it using using the Walgreens and Walmart, you can tell them about what you can do with standout cards. Yeah, well, you can, um, you can um, in the sock photo store, I'm not going to take us over there right now because right. That, that we don't really have time to do that, but in the stock, sock photo store, you can, um, you can actually online create your own business cards, you, two-sided, beautiful two-sided business cards that are very affordable. You can um, create your own calendars for gifts. I send them to family every year as, as Christmas gifts. Um, you can do, you know, pretty much anything you can do with pictures. You can do um, with, you know, the pictures you've already uploaded for your cards, and then you can each, either have them sent directly to the person that you're giving them to, or you can have them sent to yourself. Um, either one. But so that's a whole, that's a whole other um, service that we um, that we provide, and you don't have to reload your pictures. They're already there for your 
you know, for your cards, and your um, the photo store just um, accesses them um, from your card um, account. So, okay. and and then the other thing is your pictures. Whatever pictures you've added are there for like they're there until you delete them. Um, so and we don't have very many because this is a sample account. But in my in my regular account, there I have hundreds of pictures in there that I've used. Thousands. Um, thousands, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, you can um, and the cards. Once you've made a card, you can um, you have a section called My Cards. And it will save your card. You can save your cards. Here's one that I saved here to show you. That's under my cards, and I can just anytime I want, I can go in, pull that card up, create a card from it, and I'm off. And I can just go ahead. Um, this was one that I just did a very simple card. I put this graphic in here, but I could, you know, take that out just as easily, and. The same way that I did my initial card, I'm just going through, and now I pick the person I want to send it to, and I'm done. It's on the way. So, okay. A couple yeah. things. First, my it must have something to do with my internet connection. I'm not seeing your screen. I'm seeing your icon with you and Mickey and Minnie. Oh, no. And, and, and just in case, well, I'm looking at the public one, too, and it looks okay. Just in case anybody else did see that, I think they should know why, we're, why you are posing with Mickey and Minnie. Oh, well, that's, I'd love to talk to you about that. Um, I, I'm going to go back to the main screen here for a minute, make sure that, um, let's see, I'm going to turn off the screen sharing for a second, and I should be back on your screen now. Um, so the, the reason that, uh, that that's that way is that I am one of Mickey's very special photographers. So uh, I work with Mickey Mouse every day in the Magic Kingdom, and I am one of the people that takes um, his photos, and um, and then people can use those photos to upload for their Christmas cards. Yeah. So um, so it's one of the ways that it's a it's a good uh, it's a good connection for me. And um, if coolest uh, job ever, it is the best job ever. I have so and, much and for, fun. Yeah, for all you RVers that are part of our audience here, um, there's a lot of work campers that work at Disney too, right? That's right. That's right. I mean, you're. That's not that. You don't consider yourself a work camper. This is no, a regular I'm job. No, I'm, but I'm a. I'm an employee. I'm a. I'm. I have been part time, but I'm actually going to be working full time through the holiday season. So, um, but there are some people who are seasonal that come in and uh, just work. You know, for the Christmas season or the summer season or something like that. So, um, anyway, it's the happiest little place on earth and it's all decorated for Christmas. So, <laughs> Really, we went to the fireworks with Jeff and Laura the other night at uh, the Magic Kingdom and it wowed me. Yeah, it was <laughs> really awesome. wowed me. So, so you might you, want to just say a couple words about the cost of the cards. Yeah, um, the, the cost, when you go to, when you go to www.laurasendscards.com Make sure you have that written down. Um, you will be able to um, you will be able to see the pricing structure for different types of accounts. Um, you can get a very simple account where um, where you can um, you know send a f if you're somebody who sends you know maybe five or ten cards a month. You can open a, a personal account where you can buy your cards from anywhere from a dollar to maybe a dollar fifty um, for each customized card. Um, if you have, um, you know, if you get another type of account, maybe you have a few more, or you're having, uh, you want to use them for your Christmas cards once a year, or something like that, you can get them for as little as a dollar a card. So, or even actually as little as 65 cents a card if you're not uploading your own photos into them. So, um, it, it's really very affordable. You're paying um, the straight pass through charge for postage. And um, it's, I'll tell you what. I have so much fun doing it, and people get my cards, and they call me, and they tell me how much they love them, and how fun they are to receive, you know, my pictures and my, um, you know, my messages. And you know, in this in this day and age, card sending is a lost art because people don't want to pay five bucks a card, you know, and have to go, you know, stand there with that glazed look in front of the card counter trying to pick a card that already says the right thing. You can have the card say whatever you want it to say. Um, and you can have it, you know, really communicate what's in your heart. And okay, I think we do that. have a 
couple of questions. Yes. Okay. I don't see any questions here. Oh, okay. Am I looking um, at the wrong place? <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, one is, can you put personal photos on the front of the card? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, and I, you know, I, um, I did that one kind of easily, but, uh, but there's a, another button that is called Picture Plus, and that lets you design the entire card front to back, top, you know, fr you can put whatever you want on the front, you can use templates, you can use graphics, you can use pictures, and the thing about um, the, the cost is when you start putting pictures into your cards, it's w just one more point. And it doesn't matter if you have one picture or ten pictures in your card. It's just one more point, which is anywhere from you know thirty-five to forty-nine cents um, for the card. So there's a lot of flexibility in you know how you design the card. On the stock cards that you pull out of the catalog, like the one that I showed you with the palm tree on the front, you can't change the front of the stock cards. But when you start from scratch, you can put anything you want on the cards. Okay, one other question I see is do they send cards to other countries or just the US? Oh, great question. <laughs> no, that's one of the magic things about send out cards because we like magic. Um, when you send a card, <laughs> half see our family, a lot of our family is in England as Chris and Jim know, and we've got friends around the world because we've had exchange students over the years. So when we send a card to Germany or to England, send out cards automatically um, you know, sees the address and calculates the, the, ac the appropriate postage for the country that it's going to. So you can send your cards anywhere in the world and you don't have to even look up the postage. Send out cards already knows that. It'll put the right postage on the card and it will send it for you. And as an added bonus, if you're sending cards to Canada, um, send out cards will actually they they once a day they overnight those cards into Canada and send them with local postage so you're not paying international postage for cards to Canada which is really nice on your Christmas cards if you have family up there yeah okay so, well I yeah. am I am one of those that is is just not a card sender but if I ever got started actually using send out cards I think I probably would be because it's it it's is very just so addictive. Easy. It's very and addictive, and it's very fun, and it will definitely get you in the holiday spirit. Obviously, since we are in the holidays, you're thinking about Christmas cards, but I know you can also have campaigns yes. to business customers, right? So I have a lot of business customers. I have attorneys and insurance people. And you can automatically send out for them on their birthdays. And well, you can do this. What I do at the beginning of every year is I create a birthday card that is like appropriate for that year like mine tend to have a lot of Disney stuff on them now and <laughs> uh, again I create it as a campaign and send out cards will remind me if I've put their birth date in there send out cards will send me an email and remind me that somebody's birthday is coming up in 10 days and I can go right from that email and I can launch the birthday campaign it's just a couple of keystrokes it finds the birthday card puts their name in it prints it, stuffs it, stamps it, and it's gone. And it's like two seconds. I mean, it's so easy to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we're just about at an hour here. Anything you have to add, Jim? Okay. Well, I did miss a couple of questions there, and I just had to refresh. Let's see. Two questions posted. I'm looking at them now. Can you put? For, you already asked Those, that. Do they send yep. cards. Yep, yep. You you got them. So okay. Great. So I just want to let, I just, I just let everybody know if you go to just remind you to go to my website. You can send two free cards, two free any kind of cards, birthday, Christmas, whatever, to just try the system so that you can see how easy it is. And um, you can also send me an email if you have any questions directly from that gift account. So I'd be happy to answer your questions. Just send me a little email, and I'll call you, and we can, you know, uh, answer any additional questions that you may have. Great! That sounds wonderful. Thanks so much. This has been a lot of fun. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to do this again. 
I think we will be doing it again. Now I know I've gotten a few messages via email. I have, I have three computers going. Well, actually four, <laughs> right, in, right around me here. So I've seen a couple of emails from people who weren't able to get on. They said something about not being able to log in. There is no login required. You just either go to geeksontour.com Hangouts or you go to Google Plus Geeks on Tour. So I'm not quite sure what they're talking about. We this has been recorded. And our general plan is the recording will only be available for members. But for this first one, what do you think? Let's just go ahead and... I think we should put it out for everyone, yeah. Let's just go ahead and make this public. And I ho, will ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. And as the way the registration works, we have... I can send out an email to everybody who registered. There were 125 of you asking for some feedback and maybe what other types of Hangouts you would like to see us do. As Jim says, we're doing this using the internet connection of our cell phone. So I guess we can do it from just about anywhere that we have a good Verizon signal. So far, so good. Or CenturyLink. <laughs> well, that's what you have, yep, yep. Right. Okay, well, let's wrap it up. I'm Jim. And I'm Chris. We're and Geeks on Tour. We're Geeks on Tour. See you on our website. Thanks, Bye. Laura. Bye-bye. <laughs>